The Congress party adopted its Udaipur Nav Sankalp declaration here in Udaipur at the end of its three-day Chintan Shivir. Lots of major organizational announcements were made, lots of major political announcements were made, and a lot was also said through the concluding speeches of Sonia and Rahul Gandhi. Here are some highlights from our reportage and what we have gathered from the Chintan Shivir over these three days. The Udaipur declaration called for a number of organizational changes like a public insight committee that will conduct surveys all year round and offer feedback on various issues to the central government. To train workers and leaders in the ideology, thought and rules of the Congress, an election management committee formed at the AICC level to manage all things related to elections. And finally, an assessment wing to assess the work of leaders and organizational position holders and reward or promote them accordingly. There has also been a push to make the organization what the Congress calls younger. For this, a reservation policy of 50 under 50 or 50% 50 reservation for those under 50 years of age at all committees starting from the block level to the AICC has been instituted. The party also said that it is mulling over having a retirement age for senior leaders after which, while they can continue working for the party, they will not hold any organizational positions. That apart, the declaration also calls for a Rosgar Do Yatra that will pan across the country starting 15th August. Sonia Gandhi also announced that a Bharat Jodo Padyatra will be organized from Kashmir to Kanyakumari starting on Mahatma Gandhi's birthday, 2nd October. The slogan Bharat Joro has also been fashioned upon Gandhi's slogan Bharat Choro. We will launch the national Kanyakumari to Kashmir Bharat Joro Yatra beginning, beginning, beginning on Gandhi Jayanti this year. All of us, young and old, young and old, will participate in it. Seniors will have to find ways to accommodate seniors like me <laughs> in this, on how to uh, easily participate in the Yatra without having to run out of breath and God knows what else. However, while the declaration said that the Congress will reach out to like-minded parties and is open to alliances, Rahul Gandhi's statement on regional parties may not please a lot of them. BJP Congress ke baat karegi. Congress ke netaon ke baat karegi, Congress ke karyakartaon ke baat karegi. Magar regional party ke baat nahi karegi. Kyunki wo jante hain ki regional party jo hai उनकी जगह है मगर वो बीजेपी को नहीं हरा सकते हैं क्योंकि उनके पास विचारधारा नहीं है अलग 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 अप्रोच है उनकी हमारी एक सेंट्रलाइज्ड एक अप्रोच है और हमारी विचारधारा की लड़ाई है तो ये आसान लड़ाई नहीं है कांग्रेस पार्टी का काम हमारे जो इंस्टीट्यूशंस हैं उनको उनकी रक्षा करने का है ये हमारा काम है ये कोई रीजनल पार्टी नहीं करेगी the leaders that we spoke to who were a part of uh, these discussions at the Taj Aravalli in Udaipur said that some of these committee meetings went on for over 12 hours. They also said that for most of these meetings their phones were confiscated so that the media which was kept at a distance from all of the happenings inside does not get real-time information. Uh, now that the declaration is out in black and white, what is going to be interesting to see is how these so-called transformational ideas are implemented by the party which has always been the difference between the cup and the lip for it in the past. Reporting from Udaipur, this is Ishadrata Lahiri with Suraj Bisht for the print.